on everyone? Sneaky Mofo here, back with another Grand Theft Auto 5 for PC cheat. This time I'm going to be showing you how to have infinite health. You're going to find your health, and for all cases that you're just walking around like this, um, or maybe swimming, you can make it to where you won't die. However, if you're in a car, and the car blows up, you'll die. Um, or if you fall like out of a plane or jump out of a plane and hit the ground, you'll still die there. But with what I'm going to show you, you can even go fight the army like I showed in the clip at the intro here. You can take uh, direct tank shots and all kinds of craziness. So anyway, the first thing that you need to do is make sure you have full health. All right. There's other ways that you could search for other health values depending on where your health is but just for the sake of uh, getting everyone on the same level here um, and minimizing you know why this doesn't work for some people just get full health so bottom left hand corner make sure that green bar is filled all the way up so once you've done that what you need to do is go into cheat engine and you want to set your value type to float and have scan type set to exact value and you want to look for a value of 200. We'll do first scan there. Alright, now what you want to do is um, go get damaged. Get some health taken away. So I'm gonna go aim at some people and make them drive over me. That's a good way to do it. All right, so now that I know my health decreased, I can look for a decreased value. And once again, edit settings, hotkeys. You can set hotkeys for searching for decreased values and all this stuff. So that's what I'm going to be doing from here on out, all right? So now I'm going to get hit again and search for another decreased value. Lame ass bitch. Man, whatever. Alright, that guy's not afraid of a gun being pointed at his face. Awesome. Bitch! What the hell, man? <laughs> God damn it, whatever. Right. Let's see if we get this guy to run oh, no effing way. Shit. It figures the moment I go do this. Okay, there we go. I was going to say, the moment I go do this video, no one's running over me now. Alright, so now we're going to search for another decreased value. Now we're going to search for an unchanged value. Actually, not quite yet. Let our health replenish up to where it is now. So once it's at this point, all right, where it looks like the bar is halfway filled, you could search for an exact value of 150 now because that's what your health ends up going up to and settling at. However, if your health is just a little above that, then... 150 is it going to work? So let's get hit again. There we go. Decreased value. All right. See how health is going up now. We can search for an increased value. All right. Yo, move it. And now, see 150 over there. In a couple of places. These two green ones don't go for those. It's going to be one of these. Okay. So what you can do is double click one and double click your value here, set it to 200, go back in the game and see how the bar is filled. Um, we found our health. So now what you want to do is you can lock the value like this and then you can go get up in the cops faces and do whatever you want to do except for uh, going face to face with a tank shell that will still kill you so what you want to do is right here where the value is just set it to 9999 all right visually on the screen here you won't see a difference but now with your health being that high and you locking the value nothing can kill you with you running around like this so let's see if this person drives over us see how our health stays and as you saw in the intro video you can just go ham on the cops and uh, 
yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, gonna be looking for some more stuff in the game, but between this, the money cheats, and the ammo cheats that I've shown, that'll pretty much get you through what you want to get through in the game. So I think the next step for me is going to be creating a trainer. And, you know, that'll be something that you guys can just download, run it. You don't even have to worry about messing around in Cheat Engine. You can just run the executable, get your cheat on. So anyway, thanks for watching. Leave me a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe. Going to have more of these kind of videos coming along soon. Thanks so much. Talk to you guys soon. Take care.